Donald Trump Jr. Uh, says that God wanted to destroy a George Floyd mural. Now, I'm reading from um, a piece from The Daily Dot, and it was written by David Cavucci. To place a moral dedicated to the memory of George Floyd collapsed Tuesday night in Toledo, Ohio. According to local reports, the building it was painted on was struck by lightning. An image from WTVG 13 ABC. Uh, and this is what they tweeted. They said the George Floyd mural on the side of this building at Summit and LaRange has collapsed. No word yet on what may have caused the collapse. And then later we found out that the collapse was because of a lightning strike. Uh, witnesses have told us authorities that the George Floyd mural was struck by lightning. And this is according to WTVG 13 ABC News. Donald Trump Jr. being the, well, I'll leave all the descriptors uh, for later. Donald Trump Jr. being Donald Trump Jr., he took to Twitter and this is what he said, quote, it's almost like a higher power is telling us something. When was the last time you heard of a brick building being destroyed by lightning? I am a builder and I'm not sure I've ever heard of it. I have anything to say about this because it's like, to me, a natural occurrence like this would happen. And of course, the uh, right wingers would make this such a thing. And I, you know, we would too. When we would, we would cackle about it, we would say, oh, it was the hand of God that struck down that racist mural over there on Stone Mountain. Some crap like that, right? We would do the same thing. But here's the issue, though. This is what we, we've seen the 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 Republicans or conservatives or white right wingers um, or alt writers or KKK members white nationalists that whole list um, mm -hmm. this is what we've seen them to do take God right and um, really actually mean it when they say these kind of things this was God that did this but how does that equate he he struck it down because what this mural this mural reminded you that white cops a system that is against black people. It's always shooting down black men, murdering black men every day. Something that reminded you that. You think God didn't want, would take that away to benefit y'all? Mm. Not the God yes. that I serve. I'm just, I'm, just, I'm just putting that out there. So Since Sister Zor has brought God into this, and those of who know me know that, uh, you know, I affectionately refer to the golf course as 18-hole Baptist. And it's not <laughs> uncommon that little baby Jesus like to join me on 18 holes. And sometimes when he <laughs> hits a shot across the water, he he embellishes his shots a little bit. His ball walks on the water even. <laughs> but as we're talking about God and soul, it, it reminds me of one of my favorite scenes from the movie Tombstone, when Doc Holliday was laying in the bed and Wyatt Earp came up to him and he was asking him about the evil of Ringo. And Wyatt Earp said to, to Doc Holliday, what makes a man like little negative 45 sons, Doc? What makes him do and say the things he does? Doc Holliday said to Wyatt Earp, a man like little negative 45 son has a great big old hole right in the middle of himself. And he can never kill enough or steal enough or say enough to inflict enough pain to ever feel it. See, little negative 45 son, to invoke the spirit of little baby Jesus that I play with at 18 Hole Baptist, to inflict that, you know, to, to attribute that to God, he has a, a hole right in the middle of his soul, and he could never, ever fill it up. That's what makes them so evil.